Simba, can I start with you? Um, Rumours are that you turned an ankle before the Worcester game. Is that true and how's recovery going? Yeah, um, I didn't actually turn it. I didn't uh, do a one off into it. Is that all right? Um, but, uh, but yeah, I just aggravated it. It's been a little bit sore and, and uh, I haven't managed to shake it off, unfortunately. But um, you know, it's disappointing for all three of us not to be able to play today. But looking forward to, to getting fit and I should be fit for next weekend. So we should see you against the Irish next Saturday. Yeah. Andy, the same won't apply to you. I understand you're out for about six weeks. Um, yeah, I've got, to, I've got to keep cast on for five weeks. Um, and then there's some pins they've got to take out and some wires, so hopefully it's a week or two after that. Is it uh, a broken thumb? Was it done um, in Northampton match or Worcester game? No, I, was, I did in the Northampton game. Um, didn't think it was too bad, um, and then it sort of got worse and worse, and then at, at the end of the Worcester game, I had to be sorted out really, so I had the scan and we did an operation. I don't know if Tim's got a hand that will actually hold anything, but uh, a couple of weeks ago, Tim, you uh, kindly joined us. You were looking at November. You've had an operation since. Uh, successful? Yeah, everything went well, I think. Um, it was two weeks ago, so I'll go in uh, next week and uh, get an update for how it's going by the specialist and timing-wise, but hopefully it all comes, it will all stay on schedule and I should be back maybe the same time as Andy around November. Uh, same as, yeah. Right, uh, if we can stay on painful things, um, I can't not touch on Harlequins last week. A lot of words written and spoken, not many of them complimentary about the Gloucester effort. But are we at a stage now, three people like yourself here, uh, Naz, Dave Lewis, Alex Brown, are we just too stretched as a squad now? James? Um, I think obviously it's very important that when you do miss players in the World Cup, you've got a, a smaller group of, of guys together. You need to try and get a little bit of luck and keep, keep players fit and on the field. You know, you've got us three here at the moment injured, the guys have reeled off. And um, I don't think with effort last week, I think the effort's there. But I think um, you know, there's some very basic errors that, that need uh, addressing moving forward into, into you know, certainly today and, and um, throughout the rest of the season until you get the guys back. Andy, just... Finally dwelling on last week. Obviously, there will be disappointment from the forward. There was some pushovers, and uh, I think it was their replacement, Brooker, came on and then ran straight through the middle for a try. Have those problems been addressed uh, in analysis this week? Um, yeah, definitely. Um, I mean, it's not so much problems. I mean, that's, that's an area we've been working hard for probably the last two seasons to defend that drive and around that area. For, so to just concede two tries there is a massive, massive blow for forwards. And, that's hurt every one of us, um, and it's not like us. And you know, boys have worked hard this week to put it right. And you know, it's, hopefully, it's just it's just a one-off flick, which I'm sure it is, because we do work hard every week on that aspect of the game. Well, as I promised, anyone waiting to ask a question? they can, they try to get you out onto the pitch to watch the boys training, so if there's any new moves or anything like that, you're, you're up to speed straight away, so when you are fit, you can stop straight back in. Um, so it's, it's, a bit of a, it's a bit of a pain to when you're injured, it's, uh, it's not sort of the nice thing you do, but it's, it's longer days, it's just getting you ready to get back on the field, really. Um, just to develop that slightly, Tim, with you walking around uh, in a sling, how can you keep a good level of fitness up? Um, I can't. <laughs> uh, 
times. Uh, we did, uh, I think it was six weeks um, or seven weeks of pre-season. And I was pretty much as fit as I could get. And then uh, I got injured. And I think I've had as much time out now. So um, uh, as soon as I'm out of the sling in the next week or two, I'm, I'm going to have uh, probably another six or seven. That'll be pretty much another pre-season for me, I think. Well, good luck and good luck to all three with the recovery. Right, the old enemy today, Bath. James, they're off to a fairly good start, nothing spectacular. Would we expect, even with our depleted resources, to win this one? Yes! I think, um, I think what, everyone, what everyone knows around King's Home and in any local derbies is that it doesn't necessarily come down to the skill and the, um, you know, who's got the better sidesteppers and the better runners and whatever else. A lot of this, you know, you get the guys hazy and the, lot the forwards that will really help to get the guys up even more for a local derby. It's more about what's inside, you know. I've, I've been down here for a while now and I know what it's like to play against um, a local rival, whether it be Worcester or Bath. And, um, you know, we have been beaten here by Bath before and that, and that hurts. We won't forget that, but I think we've got to have the confidence to go out there and put the results um, out front of all the, all the supporters. You know, we need to play in the right areas of the field. It's not wrong sometimes with sticking the ball in the air and actually going after them and trying to get really physical with them. And I think, um, you know, forgetting all the, the skill set, that's, that's one of the things that we will want to have today is, is physicality and a lot of passion and heart. Is there any extra pressure as players on the fact that we have this, what, 20 match unbeaten run going back to November 2009? Does that uh, bear any pressure on players or do you just not care a damn about such things? Well, I think it does count in that, in that you know, if, soon as you, if you've got to try and target all your home matches and try and get points, you target every game, but if you can win all your home matches, steal a few points on the road and be top four come the end of the season. I think that we're very, very proud of our home record, you know, when we have lost here, it's very clear. Um, from the reaction, reaction to all the supporters, what it means to them when we do lose here, it's not nice. And um, you know, we, we feel terrible after that happens. And we are very proud of, of that record. And we, you know, as soon as you lose that, you've got to start again from fresh. So, um, you know, we, we do, we don't try any less when we go away from home. But you know, there is that added. Um, you always know, talk about the, the extra player with the Kings over the shed and and, uh, and home support, and it really does really does count for us. I think that's what, like James said, it's not pressure sort of to be able to lost. It's pressure from game one, game two, game three, every game you're at home. You know, it's your home support looking at you. It is a lot of pressure and I think that's, that's one of the reasons why we've been successful at home, personally. On the reverse side then, Andy, when you go away and, uh, okay, I think Gloucester got as big an away following as anyone else and they make a noise. Do you go, do, how do you sort of explain that we had awful, awful matches at places like Leeds, Newcastle, Sale last year? That can't all be to do though with the crowd factor, can it? Not one of us knows why that is. Um, it's, well, it's, you know, we've, we've addressed every sort of situation. I think last year was a big, big stepping stone for us. We went to Wasps away and won. We went to Bath away and won. So I think. We did address it last year, and I think it did. It did start to make a difference. We, we went. There's a few things we put in place, and I think they did. They sort of helped us. Um, so yeah, I think it was a good start last season. So hopefully we target more away wins this year than we did last year. Yeah, and one or two supporters have been a little bit down on what's happened this season so far. But in all fairness, we could be looking at victory at Northampton, victory against Worcester, and only last week's uh, block, which uh, most people have said in the World Cup and with the injuries, we're doing really well. Yeah, definitely. I mean, it's last, last couple of minutes, we, you know, we lost the game against Northampton. And, you know, last week, as we proved last year, if you go down to Arkham, it's not, as you said, right, you get beat badly. Um, so, yeah, it's, it's, still, it's still very early days. We haven't had luck with injuries, but that, that happens in sport. Um, stand for guys who are playing today, it's another derby day, it's, it doesn't matter what the form is coming to a derby game, and, you know, it's, we look at each game that comes along. Tim, again, talking of World Cups and uh, injuries, we're having to blood a number of youngsters, perhaps uh, 
earlier than may have been. Have you been impressed with the way such as Tom Savage in the second row has come through and uh, clearly Johnny May played in the centre um, and one or two others of course. Um, Kistellini, we're going to see um, the new hooker probably on the pitch sometime today. Are you being impressed by the application of these lads? Yeah, I mean it's uh... It's, a, it's sort of chucking them in the deep end a little bit, but um, I mean these situations sometimes work out as a positive. We've got a lot of talent, um, especially in the backs, and then and, and sort of the first I've seen this year with the young forwards coming up. Um, I think the big thing for for now is to try and shuffle them about. We're sort of finding out which combinations go well and and, uh, and who's working well together. But I mean the individual talent there is amazing. It's just getting them into the team and into the way we play. Um, and, you know, there'll be no holding them back, really. <laughs> Any more questions from the floor? Surely something's tickling the fancy somewhere. If not, I'm going to let these lads go and do their next set of duties. OK, lads, thanks very much. You've been very upfront. Quick uh, recovery, please, from injury, and let's see you back on the pitch. James Simpson, Daniel, Andy Hazel, and Tim Monahar, everyone. Thank you.